Okay, so here is a step-by-step -step guide for any type of consultant, be it a software developer, an attorney, a lawyer, creative agencies, consulting firms, uh, accounting firms, engineers, constructors, uh, HR professionals, anybody who bills on an hourly date. This guide will tell you how you can actually create a task record your time that you've spent doing the task as in running a timesheet and then how you can make that task billable in perfects okay so the first thing we do is we obviously enter the system with our username and password we log into the project that we're working on through projects and we would arrive here at our project and therefore we can start by creating a new task Okay, making sure that this task is billable and it's your choice whether or not it's visible to a customer. Uh, we can name that task, uh, let's say, for example, testing task timesheet billing. Uh, if it is linked to a milestone, you can highlight that. If it's due within a certain period, uh, you'd like this task done, you can also highlight that. I'm just selecting random dates here. Assign it to whomever in your business you want to assign it to. Uh, this could be linked, must be linked to the project that we are on, as we said. If we are on a project when we start out, okay, we save the task. So now the task has been laid out and is saved. Then automatically, when it comes time for um, the employee, the person to do the task, they can therefore click on timesheets and they can start to record the time that they've spent against By recording the time against actually the task itself. So firstly, see the task's not assigned, it's assigned now. This makes our timesheets available. So let's say we're working on the task on Monday and we've worked from 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. We make some notes, blah, 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 about what we actually did. I am... Clicking save. Oh, end time is smaller than fast time. Excuse me. Uh, the 28th, the timeline, the system tells me. Oh, I was trying to record the wrong time. Okay, so now it's successfully added because it's recorded from 1 to 3 p.m. on the 28th. Um, so as you can see, I'm doing this in the future. You could go and do this in the past as well. You could record a certain amount of time. doesn't matter whether it was on or in that task timeline, and you can record that time also against this task because it's all time that you've worked. So you can see here how for um, the assignee, I am slowly but surely logging the time that has been worked on this task. And now I will mark this task as complete. It's complete. Uh, let me just show you the view with all the tasks here that's completed. So you can see the task that we've just created. You can also see that there's another task here, uh, which was writing the divorce decree for this task and that it's also logged here. You can look at the times that was logged against it. Again, we have some other times logged against it. Okay, so from here, we can simply go into the invoicing side of the system and this was under a specific customer. Um, we pick that project and then we simply look at, when we go to the bottom, we look at what tasks are available. Uh, let me refresh the screen quickly. Oh, project. I'll select my project. Maybe the divorce. And suddenly two tasks become available for billing, which was the two that we had there. 
Okay, so this in this way, you can make sure that any work that you are doing on a task can be taken and is available for billing. So therefore, if you've been shorting yourself over hours or you've been somehow piecing together, you know, you've taken a phone call here, you've spent half an hour over there on an item. Once you move into the invoicing section for that customer and on that specific project, all tasks available for billing will appear here and therefore you can simply add those tasks uh, to your invoice and you can add your rate for that task and therefore you'll have um, the amount of money that is due to you on that task. As you can see, the system is calculating um, what your hourly rate is versus the amount of hours and it's coming up with a sum and therefore it is ready to send to your customer. There you go. Within a minute, you've updated your tasks. You've made sure that your customer's gotten everything. So let's just send this. We'll say save and send. Automatically, the system will um, send it out. And then when you go onto your customer's account again, this being um, Crooks and Sun, you will automatically see everything related to them in one spot. including uh, the tasks, the time you spent on the tasks, the notes you've made on the tasks, uh, linked to that, your different or your different projects. If you're looking at the two projects that you've got, that you're working on with them, uh, as well as you'll see those tasks moved onto invoices and the status of any invoice that you have with them.